Hey everyone, JP Firepledge here, and welcome to my guide for collecting all 28 unknown in Pokemon Legends Arceus. In this guide, we'll navigate through each region of Hisui, collecting all of the hidden unknown in the particular region before moving on to the next. Check the description below for a time-stamped inventory that can quickly navigate you to the unknown you're hunting. If you want to follow along with the guide, before we set out for a symbol, in the top left of the video, you'll see the location we start from, as well as the translated hint for each unknown. As a final note, in order to fully complete the game's Pokedex, you'll need to capture all 28 of the scattered unknown, meaning that without completing the unknown decks, you will not be able to capture the final legendary Pokemon in the game. Now with all that said, let's jump into the walkthrough. From in front of the Galaxy Hall, turn around and run across the bridge, continuing down Kandala Avenue toward the front gate. When you reach the gate, cross beyond it so that you're outside of Jubilife Village. Turn to face the gate and look up at the gate's sign. Resting on the final letter of the sign will be Unknown H. Walk into the Galaxy Hall and navigate up to Commander Kamado's office. Once in his office, use the selectable door to the right to exit onto the Galaxy Hall's rooftop balcony. Walk toward the rightmost side of the balcony. From here, you can easily catch the unknown W resting on the Magikarp statue's eye. From the front of the Galaxy Hall, walk towards your character's house. Once you arrive, walk around the outside towards the backyard area. On a clothesline amongst a few towels, you'll find unknown question mark. Beginning at the Fieldlands Camp, use your ride Pokemon and travel far west to the Grueling Grove. Once you arrive, move towards the break in the mountain range. This area is a pond guarded by an Alpha Heracross. Fly or swim over to the small island in the middle of the pond. Hiding in the low branches of the tree, you'll find Unknown E. From the Grand Tree Arena, about face and travel the eroded path toward the South Urbor Tunnel entrance. Stop before entering the tunnel and using either Weird Deer or Sneasler, climb up a small rock wall on the right towards a group of Machoke. Move along the dirt path past the berry tree and walk up a small grassy incline onto a large group of rocks. Drop down to the lower rocks and turn to face the waterfall's mouth. Dangling above the flowing water is Unknown G. From the Fieldlands Camp, travel southwest through Aspiration Hill, crossing into and continuing to ride south through Sand Gem Flats.
while in the Sam Jim Flats, navigate to the entrance of Lake Verity. Swim to the island in the middle of Lake Verity. And upon reaching the island, travel to the back of the rock. Between the two bugwort flowers, you'll find Unknown Eye. From the Heights Camp, travel down the winding hill and navigate to the Tidewater Dam. Upon reaching the dam, swim into the water on the side of the dam inlaid with sticks. You'll find Unknown S hiding among the dam's branches. From the Grain Tree Arena, walk past the main entrance gate towards Klebier's Boss Arena. Circle to the back side of the Grand Tree and look up to find a single branch jutting out. Climb up to the branch using Sneasler, dismounting so that you stand on the branch. After your climb, capture the awaiting Unknown X. From the Diamond Settlement, travel to the second tent on your right. This is the same tent with three headachy Psyduck. Circle around the back side of the tent, and at the tent's peak, you'll find Unknown A. From the Myrlands camp, travel north along the Golden Lowlands, following the river towards the area where you first fought the Bandit Trio. In the small camp area, Unknown D will be sitting on one of the stumps. From the Brava Arena, travel to the far side of Lilligan's Boss Arena and drop down to the makeshift path below. Travel this path toward the Shrouded Ruins and then continue riding along the right side of the open field toward a small step with a group of three stacked rock piles and a berry tree. On the tallest of these stacked stone pillars, Unknown K is resting at the top. Travel out of the south exit of the Bogbound Camp and travel the short distance to Ursaluna's Boss Arena. Once in the ring, look for a downed tree facing inwards towards the arena. Here you'll find the resting Unknown M. Travel out the north exit of the Bogbound Camp toward the Scarlet Bog.
Travel through the Scarlet Bog using the left middle paths. On a V-shaped tree on your right, you'll find Unknown V. From the Molten Arena, run past the entrance into the far side of Arcanine's boss arena. Looking up towards the mountain, you can barely see the edge of an unknown clinging to the side. Toss a jet ball to catch unknown B. From the Coastlands camp, exit the camp moving toward the two stone pillars in the ocean. Travel along the stretch of sand and toward the back side of the right pillar. Midway up the stone pillar will be Unknown N. From the beachside camp, travel north over the Windbreak Stand mountain range towards Spring Path. Drop down or fly from the range and climb into the small crater which houses Turnback Cave. On the tree to the left of the cave entrance, you'll find Unknown Q. From the beachside camp, travel northeast up the mountain range towards the place where you first met Paulina. Continue traveling along the mountain until you reach the former Lord Arcanine's grave. Walk onto the large rock directly behind the gravestone, walking onto it a few feet and then turning to face the grave. Dangling from the cliff wall, you'll find Unknown R. From the Coastlands Camp, travel westward towards the Dreadwoods Haunt. Move past the upturned boat and jump onto the second wooden boat. At the top of the ship's mast, you'll find Unknown Z. From the summit camp, travel through the Sacred Plaza, hugging the left wall to avoid aggroing any alpha Pokemon. Upon reaching the cliff drop, you should see an unknown on top of a nearby pillar. Safely drop down and climb up the closest tall column using Sneasler. Once you reach the top, snag Unknown C.
Beginning from the Highlands Camp, take a sharp left from the camp and travel east along Heavenward Lookout until you reach a cliff with a river below. Travel across the river and scale the mountain wall. Continue moving east until you reach the entrance to the ancient quarry. Stop at the entrance and climb up the rock wall to the left of the entrance, climbing all the way to the jagged peak. On the peak you'll see an unknown. Drop down to the muddy pools below and use a jet ball to catch unknown F. As in the previous guide, from the Highlands Camp, travel due east towards the cliff, over the river, and up the mountain until you come to the entrance of the Ancient Quarry. Enter the Ancient Quarry and travel to the center of the quarry. At this point, you may need to clear out some of the local Bronzor and Bronzong. Once you have a minute to breathe, stand between the two short pillars on the right and scan the high area of the rock wall. In a small nook amongst the blocks, you'll find Unknown J. From the Highlands Camp, navigate toward the entrance of the Wayward Cave. Enter the cave and follow the torches until you come to a boulder on your left. Have one of your Pokemon break the boulder and then travel into the newly discovered path. At the end of this path, you'll find Unknown L on the cave wall. From the summit camp, travel down the mountain until you reach a small pond. Continue down the waterfall created by the pond and down the stream until you reach the fabled grove. On the right bank of the Fable Grove, you'll find Unknown P sitting amongst a field of knee-high flowers. Beginning from the Ice Peak Arena, immediately turn around and fly toward the center hill of Arena's approach. To the left of the center hill, you'll find a hole in the ground. Enter this hole and travel along the icy cavern until you come to an open area guarded by an Alpha Frostlass. Hug the left side of this area and move towards the back side of the back left ice pillar. At the top of the pillar sits Unknown O. From the Pearl Settlement, navigate up towards the leftmost tent. Climb up the two ridges behind this tent and face towards the large icy structure in Avalug's legacy. Activate Braviary from this position and fly straight towards the ice pillar. You should have enough height if you are conservative with your boosting. After reaching the top of the pillar, run to the rightmost edge of the pillar. 
Looking over the side, you'll see Unknown T sitting atop an isolated ice pillar. From the Pearl Settlement, turn right and travel until you come to the Hearts Craig area. On approach, you'll see a double waterfall and an odd stone at the top of the falls. Navigate to the rock wall between the double waterfall and climb up to the top of the falls. Walk to the back of the odd looking stone. Look up on the stone to find Unknown You. From the Snowfields camp, travel north over the gap in the ground. After you pass the gap, hug the left mountain wall and continue to travel until you come to a cave. Travel through Hibernal Cave and on the other side you'll see a wall of frozen ice. Climb up the rocky ridge to the left of the ice wall. Near the top of the ice wall, you'll find Unknown Y frozen in place. From atop the Ice Peak Arena, travel around the right side of the arena until you come to a small hot spring nestled in the mountain. Walk along the left side of the Snowfall Hot Spring toward a berry tree surrounded by dead trees. Look up towards the tops of the dead trees to find unknown exclamations sitting among the fading branches. With the last unknown secured, that wraps up both the unknown decks and my guide on getting all the unknown in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Completing the unknown deck satisfies the ungame requirement of completing the unknown Pokedex page, and has the added benefit of causing unknown to begin spawning in the Slaceon ruins within the Crimson Mirelands. When you return to the Slaceon ruins, you'll now find a small group of random symbols greet you on visits, and among these, you have the chance to find both alpha and shiny unknowns. Good luck to those of you going for those alpha or shiny alphabets. If you liked this video, remember to like and subscribe, and make sure to hit me up in the comments with any other guides you'd like to see in the future. A final thank you to all new and returning subs, and to everyone watching this video. I've been JP Fire Pledge, you've been a wonderful audience, and I'll see you in the next video.